Films are made up of sequences. <laughs> sequences are made up of scenes. And scenes are made up of shots. In our last episode, we discussed the types of camera rigs used to move the camera. But in this episode, we'll be going over what those movements are and the stories they tell. This is episode six of The Shot List. Camera movement. There are countless variations of camera movement, each with their own language and purpose. A filmmaker who understands this language can create dynamic and compelling work. We'll be examining different types of camera movements. Along the way, we'll be updating a shot list of these camera movements in a Studio Binder shot list, which you can download and reference in your upcoming projects. Now, let's get moving. Let's begin with a shot that has no camera movement at all. This is the static shot. Static shots are commonly captured by locking the camera to a tripod in a fixed position. The result is a shot with zero camera movement. This is great for dialogue. What business is it of yours? Where I'm from? Friendo? Precise painterly compositions. Friend, how nice to see you. Sometimes filmmakers use static shots to trap a character and suggest their helplessness, like this moment from Dunkirk. Let's move on to our next camera movement. The pan. A pan rotates the camera horizontally, left or right, while remaining in a fixed location. Pans can be used to follow a character's actions or be used to reveal information. Which is something Wes Anderson does frequently. Four minutes, 48 seconds. We're all dead, burned to a crisp. Moving on, a slow pan builds anticipation while a rapid pan heightens the energy of a shot. These are known as whip pans. Director Damien Chazelle uses whip pans to create relationships between characters. In La La Land, he amps up the energy in the scene while underscoring the growing synergy between Sebastian and Mia. He uses the same technique for a different effect in Whiplash, no pun intended. In the final scene, whip pans are precisely timed with the give and take of the music. Accenting the combative relationship between Andrew and Fletcher Panning is ideal for horizontal movement. But what about the vertical axis? The tilt. A tilt directs the camera upward or downward. Filmmakers use tilts to capture the verticality of a film's world. This can be used to give a character dominance Or vulnerability. Yes, we're men. <laughs> men is what we are. Similar to a pan, a tilt can reveal information, like a character, setting, or scale. Who 
the people? Projections of my subconscious. Yours? Yes. In Inception, Ariadne tests how much of the dream world she can distort. My question is, what happens when you start messing with the physics of it all? Nolan tilts up to capture the awe and scale of this spectacular moment. The visceral effect of being on the street, looking upward at such a spectacle, is accentuated with a simple camera tilt. Something, isn't it? Yes, it is.